Hello everyone, I am Janini. In today's video, we would cover file handling concepts. The major agenda of today's video would be how to read a file and how to write a file. So, to proceed with these concepts, let us create a file known as names.csv by running this code. The names.csv file is created and it is present inside the folders. So, we can see that it is being created over here. It is containing the name, uh, the roll number and the marks scored by the student. So, now our task is to read each and every line present in the CSV file and create a txt file which is going to contain the grade card of that student. So, the names, roll number and marks is present in this format as we have already seen. The first column is going to represent the name of the student, the second column is going to represent the roll number of the student and the third column is going to represent the marks code by the student. So, we have to create a txt files with this format that is the, uh, the name of the student followed by .txt extension and the file should contain this content that is dear name, roll number, your, you have secured a grade of whatever grade he or she has secured. So, now we only have idea about the name, roll number and marks secured by the student, but we have no idea about the grade which is being uh, secured by the student. So, to find the grade for the student, we are using these conditions. That is, if the marks falls in the category 90 to 100, then the grades uh, secured by the student is yes. If the marks falls between 80 to 89, then the grade is A and similarly for the rest of the marks. So, now let us start coding. I am clicking the plus code icon and a new code block gets created. So, first let us write a function which will compute the grade for a student given the marks of the student. Def compute grade of marks. So, if marks is greater than or equal to 90, return yes, elif marks greater than or equal to 80, return a, elif marks greater than or equal to 70, <coughs> return b, elif marks greater than or equal to 60, return C, elif marks greater than or equal to 50, return D, elif marks greater than or equal to 40, return E, else return U. The reason why we are just checking in the first elif condition whether the marks is greater than or equal to 80 instead of checking whether it falls in the range of 80 to 90 is that we have already checked if the marks is greater than or equal to 90 or not. So, if the marks comes to the elif, elif condition then the marks is by default lesser than 90. So, we have written the compute grade function. Now, the second task for us is to read the CSV file. So, for reading the CSV file we can do f equals to open names.csv and this is being read in reading mode. Now, we have to read each and every line present in the csv file and append that line into a list known as lines. So, lines equals to line for line in f dot read lines. So, now let us try printing the lines list. We can see that each and every line which is present in the CSV file is now present inside a list known as lines. But note that each and every line is containing a slash n character at the end. This slash n character is not, uh, is not needed and we have to uh, remove it. So, to remove the slash n character, we will use the strip function in Python line dot strip. Now, we can see that each and every line which is present inside the lines list um, does not contain the slash n character. The next task for us is to 
append each and every line which is present in the lines list into another list where each and every um, word is going to be separated by comma. This can be done by using the split function and the delimiter over here is going to be comma. So now you can see that each and every line present in the CSV file is now appended inside the list known as lines in which each and every word is being separated by comma. But now the first line is not required since it is the header line. So to remove it, we will do lines equals to lines of one colon. Now we can see that the header line is being removed and now since we, have do we are done with reading the CSV file, we will close the CSV file. Now the reading file part is being done. Now let us uh, start writing or creating new files which is going to contain the grade card for each and every student. So this can be done by iterating over each and every line which is present inside the lines list. So for line in lines. So um, here each and every line is going to contain the name, roll number and marks of the student. So let us take it as an input by using name equals to line of 0, roll number equals to line of 1, marks equals to line of 2. Note that the marks is present in the form of string. We have to convert it into an integer for computing the grade. So, we will put int of line of 2. Now, the grade of the student would be computed by using the compute grade function which we have defined above. So, grade equals to compute grade of marks. So, now we have successfully taken the name, roll number, marks and the grade of the student. Now, our task is to create txt files for individual student and to insert the grade card inside it. So, this can be done by new file equals to open name plus dot txt. The reason why I am putting dot txt at the end of the name is that each and every file is present in the txt extension and now I am going to do it in writing mode. So now to write the uh, grade card inside the file, I have to use formatting. So new file dot write f quotes. So now the format should be something like this, dear name rule number you have secured a grade of grade. So, dear name, this name is present inside the placeholder since we have to use it from this variable. Dear name, roll number, roll, you have secured a grade of Grade. So, now we have written the contents inside the file. Let us close the file. Now, let us run this code. So, now we have run this code and if you go into the folders, we can see that three files got created now, name jr.txt, maya.txt and ram.txt. So, initially, the names.csv contained uh, these contents that is Maya with this roll number secured 98 marks, Jaya scored um, 67 marks, Ram scored 56 marks. So now let us uh, go inside the files and check how the grade card is being represented. So it is being represented like dear Jaya roll number you have secured a grade of C. Dear Maya roll number you have secured a grade of S. Dear Ram, roll number you have secured a grade of T. So, we have successfully read the names.csv file and created grade cards for the students who are present in the names.csv file. Hope that this video has given you an idea about file handling. Thank you.